Listen, I'm going to be honest. Warhammer 40k for beginners is one of the most daunting and intimidating games to get into. And as a person that's been playing games and has worked at GameStop for over 10 years, I find that it is incredibly difficult to get into. The purpose of this video is to alleviate that stress for people who are getting into Warhammer 40k for the first time, specifically into the format known as Kill Team. Because this is for beginners, I'm going to talk in a manner that is as simple as possible to understand, so that by the end of this video, you have a very good understanding of where to buy your models, what models to play, how to play them, so that when you go to your local game store, you'll have a very good idea and feel very comfortable about going to play Kill Team for the first time. Before we begin, I just want to give a huge shout out to everyone that subscribed to the channel. Thank you for being subscribed. Just keep in mind that when you subscribe to the channel, it's just a really quick and easy way to say thank you to me for making these videos. So like I said earlier, we're just going to be talking about the most basic and simple things today so that you feel comfortable spending money on Warhammer figures in the future to play some Kill Team. And I'm just going to pull up this picture really quickly so that you see how much money you're looking to spend when you're playing Kill Team. I literally was just on eBay a moment ago and I found this listing for six Primaris Intercessors for about $26 after tax, you're probably looking at less than $30. In comparison, where if you were to play Warhammer 40K, a 2000 point team, that would cost you upwards of $600 to play. So we're looking at a difference of 2650 versus $600. So just keep that in mind. You can find other deals like that on eBay all the time, but that is specifically the team that we're going to be talking about today, which is the Intercession Squad. So the Intercession Squad is going to be the first team that we're talking about over here, because if I'm being completely honest with you, Intercession Squad is so powerful that I legitimately believe that they're going to be nerfed one day. So as of January 2023, the rules that we see here are legal and viable for what they are now. I really do think that they are going to be nerfed and that's why we're going to talk about them first because you're getting to the game for the first time so play the best team okay to build the intercession squad kill team you're going to need to follow the following rules so we have one assault intercessor sergeant or one intercessor sergeant you need then five intercession squad operatives so one okay plus five equals six okay so you're gonna have a total of six members on this kill team just so you're aware when you're looking to build your intercession squad from this portion you only are allowed to choose one of each of these models essentially you can choose an assault intercessor sergeant or a regular intercessor sergeant my suggestion and just so that you see what i'm talking about i chose the intercessor assault intercessor sergeant for my team which is this model right here i painted them like blood angels if you guys want to know how to paint the models we can talk about that in another video in the future but as you can see here we have the assault intercessor charge sergeant with a plasma pistol and a chain sword as well. I'm gonna tell you right now, whenever you have the opportunity to put plasma on your team, plasma is one of the most powerful weapons and most powerful things you can do in the entire game. They are incredibly powerful. So when we take a look at the rules over here, the assault intercessor sergeant is the only one that has access to the plasma pistol, which is the reason why I would choose the assault intercessor sergeant plasma pistols are very strong just keep that in mind okay so my suggestion if you're going to pick a sergeant take the assault intercessor so for the rest of your intercession squad we're going to choose five okay keep in mind that your team can have any amount of assault intercessor warriors and your team can have any amount of intercessor warriors we do have an assault grenadier and we also do have an intercessor gunner as well 
If you have the ability to build out those models, you can, but just keep in mind that this team is so strong that like we noticed earlier in this eBay listing, this is a listing of just six intercessors. This is still incredibly strong and will still win you a ton of games. You notice that there are no grenadiers here. There are no gunners here. But honestly, like I mentioned earlier, it doesn't matter because this team is incredibly strong. So just keep in mind, though, that the intercessor warriors are the ones that are going to be able to shoot across the entire board. The assault intercessor warriors can only shoot a distance of about six inches in front of them, which is not that far of a range, if I'm being honest. What I would suggest if you're a brand new, just like how I showed in that listing earlier, is to take an entire team of an intercessor warriors so that no matter where you place your models on the board, you're always going to have the ability to shoot. And just so that you know, when I build my team, I have two intercessor warriors. So they would look something like this. And these dudes essentially give me the ability to shoot across the entire board. And I'm also running three Assault Intercessor Warriors, mostly because I just want to learn how to play more uh, melee and learn how to place my models better. Um, but I do have three, actually four Assault Intercessors because my Sergeant technically is one of these two as well with the Plasma Pistol. But just keep that in mind that I would suggest for you to just have an entire team of guys like this that can shoot across the entire board. Okay, have, this is our abilities page. Okay, so when we talk about playing the intercession squad, the intercession squad has the ability to take two of the abilities that we see on this page. So you can choose this one or this one, this one or this one. I'm not going to go over each one. I'm just going to go over the ones that are the best or that I've seen are overpowered. When we see this over here, Gene Rot Resilience, there are two specific abilities that I would suggest that you take. Now, when you choose these abilities, every member of your kill team is going to then gain these rules. OK, so we have a rule called unyielding and a rule called durable. Now, when we take a look at the intercession models over here, this would be you know, this model right here that we see, the Assault Intercessor Sergeant, essentially is this model right here, okay? So the rules for him is that he has 15 wounds, or in other words, he has 15 life. You need to deal 15 damage of him to him to remove him from the board. Now, when we take a look at this, the unyielding rule essentially is going to add one to this operative's wound characteristic. So instead of needing 15 damage to remove him, it's now 16 damage to remove him from the board. With the durable rule, it says critical hits inflict one less damage on this operative. So whenever we play a kill team, if somebody rolls a six, like what you're gonna see over here, and this line is something called the damage characteristic or the damage value. So if we look at the plasma, like I said, plasma is incredibly powerful. Plasma deals five damage on a normal hit and then six damage on a critical hit. Because of this rule that's overpowered, durable, critical hits inflict one less damage. So if I was to land a critical hit, with this model on this model with that rule instead of it doing six damage it's going to deal five damage which essentially without actually doing that it increases the number of wounds that this model has so we buff it up to 16 right because of that rule and then it feels because it's blocking wounds from critical hits it feels like it has 18 wounds and remembering that we have six of these models, right? So that would mean I have 18 wounds here and all of these models have always one less wound than your leader. So we have 18 and then 17 wounds across the board over here for these guys. And mind you, on top of all of that, your assault intercessors, I have to roll a dice to keep myself from taking damage. 
and I only need to roll a three on the dice. So I have a 50% chance of making sure that when my opponent actually does land a hit on my units, I have a 50% chance of blocking that wound on top of all of the defensive buffs that my team has. I'm telling you, this, this group of this team just walks forward. It doesn't matter where you place them on the board. Well, it kind of does. However, it doesn't matter because as long as you can roll average, you're going to put yourself in a position where your models will never be removed from the board. They don't die. And then on top of everything, okay, which is, which is the most insane part. And I hope the thing that I hope that they don't change because it, it definitely makes them feel very strong. Like if we look at this, because I, I meant, I told you to buy the, the intercessor warrior, right? So we're going to look at their rules over here. So essentially just so that you have the understanding, we're talking about the model that I mentioned earlier. This is the one that can shoot across the entire board. Okay. This model says this is a built in ability. <laughs> It says this operative can perform two shoot actions during its activation if a bolt weapon is selected for at least one of those shooting attacks. Okay. In other words, this thing shoots twice. Okay. And when we talk about looking at Space Marines, when we look at the rules, like I'm going to highlight this over here as much as I can. Okay. APL means how many times you can move each model essentially so if this model has three apl that means i can do three things with this one model every turn okay most models in the game have two apl so i could move and then i can shoot but essentially because of the rules that we had over there before this model can move shoot and shoot or shoot, shoot, and move, or shoot, move, shoot. But what ends up happening a lot is that it just deletes things, right? Because not only do you have the ability to shoot twice, when we look at the weapons that we have here, like this model over here that we saw earlier, this model has the regular bolt rifle. So when we took a look at this model over here, we're doing rolling four dice. Okay. We're on a three up on the dice. If I roll a three, I'm going to land a hit. And if I land a critical hit, it's going to be four. And on top of that, it has something called P1. P1 meaning that if I roll a critical hit, if I roll a six on the two times that I'm able to shoot. So I have eight dice I'm rolling to land a six, which is kind of likely that you're going to land a six suddenly the opponent that's blocking that shot automatically loses one of their dice so if i get to roll three dice to save you from hitting my model immediately because you landed a crit i lose one of those dice so essentially one hit one hit should automatically land now and i get to do that i have that opportunity to do that twice okay so what I'm saying is that these models right here, they don't die and they, whenever they're pointing at something to shoot at something, they delete it. They delete things on the board. Okay. So that's just a basic rundown for why you would want to play intercession squad. We have equipment. We have a uh, tactical ploys and things that we could go over in the future for this team. But I think that that information may be too much. We can do separate videos if you want on that in the future, but you just got to let me know if that's something you're interested in just so that we don't bombard you with too much information, but just to recap everything, just so that, you know, these teams are as cheap as $26. Like I mentioned earlier, these teams, are incredibly easy to build okay especially if you buy them already built and they're incredibly simple to play they don't die and they delete what they shoot at and i also suggest that you get six intercessor warriors so that you have the ability to shoot across the entire board okay
So that's going to be it for today's video. Keep in mind that we do have a discord that you can join in the link in the description below. If you ever have any questions, you can let me know over there. Always remember, eat healthy, okay? Work out every single day. And most importantly, you got to believe in yourself, all right? Peace out, people. Have fun when you play a kill team, guys. Good luck. Peace.